The views and opinions expressed in this broadcast do not necessarily reflect or represent the views and opinions of WBGR Network. Good afternoon. I'm Doc D. I'm Michelle. And, and we, we are, are the Mangums. Mangums. We want to welcome you to Straight Talk About the Blended Family. We appreciate you tuning in to us today, and we pray that we will give you a fresh perspective on how to allow your blended family to mesh and to blend well. Good afternoon, and welcome to Straight Talk About the Blended Family. Hi, I'm Doc D. I'm Michelle. And, and we, we are, are the Mangums. Mangums. You know how we do it here. Before we go forward, we're going to have a word of prayer, and then we're going to just, this show today is going to be epic. It's going to be so amazing, but we want to pray because I'm, I'm so excited. Y'all, I got to calm down because I'm excited. We have a tremendous guest, but let's pray. Father, we thank you for this opportunity, for this platform. We ask yes. you to bless everything that's going to be done today. Thank you for our incredible guest, God. We ask you, Lord, today that you just have your way. Take full control. We're going to have some fun. We're going to get into some deep stuff. We're going to dive in. We're going to level up. But God, we thank you for just taking everything in your hand and blessing us in the precious name of your son jesus amen amen all right now we want to do our thank yous we have to thank the lord first of all because he gave us this platform and we do every everything we do we do for him we do for his glory so um but it's to benefit others as well so we want to thank him we want to thank lionel green and the wbgr staff here yeah, at the radio awesome. station we want to thank all those who support all those who make comments who call who share the show those who are doing watch parties you know we just thank you so much and those who are keeping us in prayer we thank you so much um, if you want to call the show today, you can feel free to do so at 301-429-9247. If that line is busy, you can call 301-306-7284. We have, today's show is the Blended Fair Family Power of Can. <laughs> Yeah, I, listen. Let Power me tell you of can. Now let me tell you, you where I got. Will. Let me tell you where I got that from. Tell I got them, that from our guest book. <laughs> yes. The power of okay. can, and we gonna find out what the power of can is. Okay. Yes. All right. Um, but really, um, Luther lights out. Smith is our guest today, yeah, and yes. we're so excited to have him on the show. Yes. He is doing it, okay? I mean, this man is an Army vet. He is a pro boxer. He is an author. He's a personal trainer, business owner, and an actor. So he has his hat in a lot of... Uh, and just keep flowing. <laughs> that, listen... This brother he's is doing just doing it, some great things. But he's impacting young people, which yes. is tremendous. You know, we love that because yes. we love to impact young people as well. But um, he is doing it. And and so we're going to cut to a, to a short commercial break. And when we come back, Luther is going to be sitting on the here hot seat. in the hot seat. And, and since he is a <laughs> professional boxer, he know what it is to be in the hot seat. <laughs> He, I know he done worked out on some hot in gems, spotlight. but you know, it's. Let, let me say this real quick before we cut to our commercial. The thing I enjoy about him, I just met him personally. Um, he is such a humble brother, uh, very brilliant. He's bright, but he has such a light in him. And, and that's what I noticed when I first saw him, when I first shook his hand. I saw the light that's in him. And I want to say this to all of you that's going to tune in today. Get ready to be lit. Okay. All right, commercial break. We're back, and like we said, 
We brought back Luther Lights yes. Out. Yes, oh, yeah. welcome man, to the show. We want to welcome you to the show, man. Thank y'all for having me. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. I can tell we're going to have some fun. Man. <laughs> you know, just say hello to our audience. Luther, thank you guys for tuning in. How you doing? My name is Luther Lights Out Smith. I am here with some beautiful people today, and I'm ready to... Uh, I'm in the hot seat. It's All right, the hot then. Seat. <laughs> it's been the hot up in here. Yeah, we let's are. get it. Let's get it. <laughs> so, 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 Luther, we we we're gonna ask some questions for you, man, and we want you to be as candid as transparent no as you as you choose to be. For sure. You know, because we want people to really understand how valuable they are after they listen to you, because we already know that you're valuable. And sometimes people don't realize how valuable they are until they get somebody to kind of light that fire in them. Gotcha. So let them know how special they are and let them know that their dreams can come true and they can achieve anything in this life, regardless of where they came from, regardless of what they're going through <clears throat> today. The Blended Family, Straight Talk About the Blended Family is really a, a, a platform that we use to help people to understand that in the Blended Family doesn't mean that you die, doesn't exactly. mean that you give up. Yeah. Doesn't mean what you can't do. We, we, my wife and I have taken the opportunity to take can't out of our vocabulary. That's what I'm talking about. That's a curse word. Yeah, it is. That's what I tell my clients. That's what I tell my clients. Don't be cursing at me talking about you can't. I know that's why yeah. I like that. Yeah, that's a curse I like word. That. Awesome. Yeah. I like so, that. I tell them to drop that T. I, I, I like that, man. So, yes. so as we, we want to ask the first question. You and your wife have five children and you yep. blend their family. So tell us how you met the first part of that question. And how your blended family was formed. So my wife and I both both were in the military. My okay. wife was in the Air Force. All right now. I was in the Army. Aim high. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. And I was in the Army. Who brought? You know, yeah, man. Listen, we listen. Yeah, right. that's you know what's what up. Yeah, I love all my comrades yeah. in arms. Yeah, and uh, we were we were uh, stationed in Hawaii. Okay. And uh, awesome. we met at a. Uh, we had a mutual friend who's also, you know how it is when you're in the military. Yeah. You, you know all military folks. Exactly. Uh, we actually met at a wedding reception. Okay. So uh, I, I had, uh, at the time, my uh, I had three kids at the time. Okay. All by myself from okay. a previous relationship. Okay. okay. So I brought my three kids to the wedding, re wedding reception. Okay. And she was sitting there and... Uh, uh, and you know what's crazy? The, the the crazy part about that, I almost didn't go because I was tired. Yeah, I had the kids. I was a single father at the right. time because my my uh, my previous uh, my exes. Yeah, they were. One of them was deployed. Okay, mm -hmm. and 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 I ain't got to tell you. Being yeah, issues, I know. You know how it is. Yeah. having a family. In, in the service is, yeah, is something else. It's crazy. Mm -hmm. But uh, but anyway, fast forward. So uh, we ended up talking, and she was actually attracted to the fact that I had my my, ki my, my kids there. Yeah, you was handling your yeah, business. Yeah, I was handling my business. And, and uh, we just talked before the night was over. And I said, I'll call you. I'll give her a call. She said, well, I'm going to be in church. Yeah. So she said, I'll get out of church at 12 o'clock. I said, I'm going to call you at 12.01. <laughs> <laughs> I like and, that. Uh, and, and, and I true to my word, I waited yes. exactly the twelve oh one and I gave her a call and man, we haven't been separated ever since. Oh, wow. that's that wonderful. was thirteen years ago, almost thirteen years ago. That's wonderful. Yep. That that's amazing. You know, um I like the part where you said, Hold on, baby, don't lose your point. I like the part where you said that you brought your kids with you. Yeah. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that what that showed me, number one, that you were not ashamed of being a dad with three kids. Oh. And and but the reason why I make that point Lights out is because there's a lot of brothers that when they're meeting someone or they have an opportunity to meet someone, they really don't want to bring their kids in that. But when you're you. a single dad and a single African American dad that really want to handle this business, now yeah, I'm not, yeah, I'm yeah. not, I'm not putting the brothers that, that I know don't handle their business because I, I don't I know, believe in putting nobody down. But I think it shows <laughs> not only it shows courage. It shows how valuable your kids are to you. Most definitely. You know? Most definitely. And, and a lot of us need to understand that. Yeah. Things happen in life. Yep. You know, when people, they get together, whether they're married or not, things happen where they separate, they disconnect. It's real. That's you life. You got to keep it moving. You have you to gotta keep it moving. moving. Exactly. You have to understand the kids are not the, they should not be considered the problem. Mm -hmm. You know? Why things that happen. Exactly. The kids need to always understand that this, ain't, <clears throat> this thing didn't happen with adults because of you. This exactly. happened because of us. Exactly. So yeah, man. And I think that's and awesome. I think that was one of the things that uh, made me attracted, attractive to her, my okay. wife, because yeah. she saw that. And uh, anyone that knows me knows that man. I might not be the best husband at times. I might not have been the best boyfriend in the past. But when it comes to my kids, I made up my mind that okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna do something right. 
And it's right. going to be raising my dad. I know that's kids. right. I know, you know that's right. I, I, yeah. I, can, I can live with some of my other. Yeah. You know, I can try to work We've on We've been them. there, brother. Yeah. We all but been the there. Same, but when it comes to my children, yes. I'm going to make sure they get, because they're like you said, it's not their fault that they're here. Exactly. You know, so. And one of the things I, that we go over on our show <clears throat> is adults not putting kids in the middle of adult stuff. Yep. You know, they're yeah, not so mature enough to handle yeah. it. You know what I mean? Let them be kids. And let them be kids. You know? Yeah. Yeah. So that's that's what that plays to. <laughs> okay, so so you said five. Yep. You went over three. I got five. So uh, I had my first two from my previous marriage. Mm-hmm. Okay. okay. Mm-hmm. And then I had my daughter who's 15. Mm-hmm. I just I had I was in a long term relationship with her with her mother who's mm-hmm. also in the military. We all met in Hawaii. Mm-hmm. And then uh, so that's my first three. Mm-hmm. Okay. Now I have two with my present and current okay. and everlasting and I'm, okay. not, I'm not doing it no more no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. High five on that. No, high right. five on look, that. look, look, I ain't doing it no that's more right. now. High five I got that. it right this time. That's you know, right. I made some mistakes and I got it right. You yes. know, you know, that's, things happen. You, yes. know, you keep it moving. So I got yeah, five yes. total, man. Two in college, uh one in high school, my fifteen year old she's in high school, mm-hmm. and two at the house. Well, elementary school. Yeah. yeah. yeah I, I homeschool my daughter. So okay. My man, daughter. Okay. that awesome. The, the thing that you just shared, and, and we don't want to spend a lot of time on that one question, but you have opened up so many beautiful things yeah. about what it takes to understand your your lot in life. Sometimes we don't understand when we first get here, when we first get in a relationship, and those and like I said earlier, it's gonna be mistakes. It's yeah. gonna be things that oh, yeah. happen. But you learn how to pivot. That's one of my favorite words. If you learn how to pivot. Yep. Now, pivot is normally used in a basketball move. I got you. When you pivot away from somebody. And boxing. And boxing. <laughs> exactly. That's right. Boxing. Is. Exactly. You're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And when you pivot. Yeah. But when you pivot in life, making sure that you're pivoting toward the right the spot. Right direction. Hopefully, yeah. or the right direction. Mm-hmm. And now, because your kids see... And man, dad may not dot every I, cross every T. Yep. I never did. I won't ever will. Exactly. As a dad, as a pastor, as a husband, you know, I get that. But the thing is about it, you don't have to keep making the wrong pivot sure moves. Sure so man. once you see the blessings in front of you, now that, man, you even taking the next step to, to level up. Mm-hmm. You said, I am homeschooling my kids. Audience, let me say this real quick. If you're listening to this show today, brothers, <laughs> you know, you can do that. You can take charge of your kid's life yep. and take them to the next level. I'm not saying the mothers are not major and not important, but as a black male, as a black dad, you can do it because the seeds that you're planting in your kids by showing your concern and your action will allow them to go into a different level when they get through the schooling and they be out to impact lives. Yep. Okay. Yep. So did you do you guys um, parent on a united front? Uh, what do you mean United Front? We we are we're together on what do you what do you mean? Explain. Uh, okay, so so I will, I'll kind of go into the next question okay. along with that. Okay. So, um, do the kids play y'all against each other or try? Oh no 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 no! <laughs> no 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 no! Nah 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 and nah, nah And see, man. y'all nah. both have different mm-hmm. backgrounds. Y'all grew mm-hmm. up differently, you yep. know. So. Obviously, you have different parenting styles, yes. you know. So, did y'all discuss that in the beginning, you know, or when y'all realized y'all were getting serious, or did y'all just go by trial and error? More so trial and error. We just learn okay. as we, you know, for her having no kids coming mm-hmm, into a mm-hmm. situation where there's already three mm-hmm, kids, mm-hmm. and not only three children, two separate kids. Absolutely. Uh, different moms. Absolutely. Absolutely. So that was two a lot. Mom. Absolutely. So, you know, I took my hat there all the time and she's a, ble- you know, and she's a blessing. And, and, but for me, I always do what's best. I try to do what's best for the kids. It ain't mm-hmm. about, uh, you know, your style is better than mine or my style. It's whatever works and what's best for them. And, and, and that, that's how I see things. Yes. Now, now, obviously, uh, when dad say something, mm-hmm. you know, mom might be a little more lax. <laughs> you know, <laughs> You know, but when, when when I say something, my kids know what's up. You know, right. they, they, that's you know, what's up. All of them, all, even mm-hmm. the college ones. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, they know that ain't playing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, well, you know, the reason yeah. why we ask this question is because we've had um, parents reach out to us. Can y'all talk about you know? Because the kids trying to play us against each other, and oh, nah. you know, this that another, you know, and so um, that's because they 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 if the kids are trying to play them against each other, I think this is my personal opinion. Mm-hmm. They see a chink in the armor. Absolutely. Yeah. And the kids Absolutely. try to take advantage of. It. Absolutely. Exactly. They see a chink in that. They say they're like, okay, okay, that's why. I Absol- All right. Absolutely. Absolutely. Oh, that's what yep. I, But yep. when, when you, so I guess that's what you mean. You know. Yeah. Because yeah, a lot okay. of times, because yeah, yeah, yeah. y'all have the same page. Y'all on the same. 
same page oh, yeah. and y'all yeah. discussing yeah. Yeah. what's best for the kids together. Not in front of them. Though. Not in front of them. No, yeah. you don't do it in front yeah. of them. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. But I think that United Front also makes them understand that we have parents that are together. Oh, yeah. And when oh, they definitely. see that, see, because you're planting that psychological seed, too. Mm -hmm. United, and United. I'm not going to run on mom the wrong way. I'm not, I'm de first of all, I'm definitely not going to run up on dad. Yeah. Because, you <laughs> yeah. know, I, I get it. Yeah. Because yeah. our kids know yeah. when they were coming up, now, they can play, you know, they'll yeah, play, but when they yeah. came to me, they yeah. knew. They said, Dad, not that guy. Yeah, exactly. You know, I'm exactly. not, he's not that guy. He's exactly. not that dude. Yeah, yeah, and so, man. But I think it's beautiful that you and your wife have such a connection. And one of the things about being on United Front is always have open communication with your partner. Yep. Exactly. About what's going on with the kids. Not in front of them, yep. but sit down and have. And then another thing about being on United Front, y'all got to make serious conversations and serious decisions because mm -hmm. sometimes the house ain't just you know it's just ain't peachy king sometimes it's you gotta yeah. get you gotta pull them up yeah and say this is yeah. the deal this is yep. the deal that's what's up you know yeah. this is what's up and, and and listen you can have a voice of expression mm -hmm. but let me tell you something about your voice of expression respectfully and appropriately and then i have the last say so <laughs> see I, I i make the final say so now you may not like it right now i know but you're gonna learn to love it yeah because in order for you to yeah. excel you have to listen to somebody to have your best interest. And that's exactly. what we always tell exactly. our kids. Exactly. We have your best interest. Now, mm -hmm. out in the street, they'll let you fall and hit your head on that concrete and leave you there. But you. if you yeah, hit yeah. your head on that concrete, dad or mom, we coming. Yeah. We coming to pick you up. And, and so we live in a world now, in the 21st century, that kids are really running the house. I know. And, and especially in the blended family I'm because not. you have so many different lazy, dynamics. Because it's lazy parenting. Yeah. Let's just keep that real. Look, lazy I mean, I just, you're man, not. listen, don't get not, me started. You, you That's know, why. So, you're setting your kids up to fall when you exactly. do that. Exactly. You know, like I have one girlfriend exactly. and I just, I mean, her kids were 15, didn't know how to wash clothes. Like she did everything. I'm like, Man. you're not preparing them to live on their own. Yeah, what's going to happen? To, yeah. You know that's, what I mean? When yeah, they go to college, when they, no. you know, go off to school, when they, yeah. or even Lost. when they get their own. We're already hard enough yeah. as it is. When you know how to do certain things like that. Absolutely. So you just set them back further when it comes to that. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, you got to, you got to let them. You so got, you was going to say something, man, before my yeah. wife started oh, talking. Sorry, you go was, was, was going to say something about that ain't coming your way. I how, forgot, no. How do you, you're talking about approaching kids from like not listening oh, and okay uh that's part of the reason why i had to start uh we had to start homeschooling my my daughter okay uh in school uh the, the other kids they're it, it, it's not school anymore it's pretty yeah. much like a daycare and they're just running rampant you can tell these kids don't have any home training exactly no. and, and, and you can the, say that and the teachers got to deal with that mm -hmm. along with trying to trying teach, to teach. Mm -hmm. and and, mm -hmm. and with the way teachers get paid you, you when you become a teacher, you're not doing it for the money. No. So you gotta, you have to assume that you love teaching. Right. But but to see teachers quitting now, mm -hmm. quitting something that they love mm -hmm. because these kids coming mm -hmm. in there and, and a whole ruin, different attitude. Ruin it, yes, ruining stuff, man. And I'm yeah. very, I was very active when my because we didn't always homeschool my daughter. But right. like I told you, mm -hmm. I was very. My my wife was the PTA president. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we made effort to right. be there and to be physically present mm -hmm. in the schools. And, and and just to see, you know, to let people know that you need you need to invest time and in to, to make these kids, but they don't have any sort of foundational Support. foundation yeah. to come in there. No, no no respect for adults. It seems no, like it, it, they're losing it's, them, it's been And these teachers are going mm, crazy, mm, mm. pulling their hair out like they can't. You know, they, you, nobody's getting taught anything because they're so. It's like they're CEOs and they're, they're exactly, crazy. exactly. Let me exactly. tell you this: they're man. so busy dealing with the discipline exactly. that they can't even teach. Exactly. I want to say this, and I, I not only don't say this, but mm. I need to say this because when I went out for active duty for a little bit, I went into the reserves, mm -hmm. and so I got a job. And I was teaching in Philadelphia. Oh man! Now most of the time I taught, I taught at private, private schools. You know, where I taught and I taught world history, global studies, whatever the case may be, and I coached sports. Yeah. But when I went to Philadelphia, I met my wife, moved into Philadelphia. I went to to take a job. I took a job, got hired to teach at Martin Luther King High School. A public school, yeah. Yeah, public school. Oof. And I went in there, I was 11th and 12th grade business enterprise teacher, which was my thing, because I got an undergrad in business administration. Gotcha. So that was really my thing. Yeah, man. gotcha. It's you piece know? of cake for you. So it was a piece yeah. of cake. So I'm teaching 11th and 12th graders, so they're ready to roll, go to college. You know, they kind of yeah. got themselves set up. Well, so you thought. So, so the English teacher, the <laughs> 9th and 10th grade English teacher quit because I was the newest teacher because I had military background. They pulled me down, so I was teaching oh, in the man. basement. 
Now, I was teaching in the basement at this high school. I probably shouldn't have said their name, but I said it. So <laughs> yeah. I said they probably going to come hey, here. It is what it is. It is what it is. What it is. is. It's true. So I'm teaching. <laughs> so, I'm, so I'm teaching. I tell my wife. So I told my wife. I come home. I said, babe, they have basically sent me down to be a warden. So this school had a police unit in the school. Wow. That's and how so, it is these days. So man. I go down. And this was in 2002, 2003. So I go down. I'm teaching for my first day. I'm an English teacher. In the basement. All these kids coming in here, ninth and 10th grade kids, out of control, man. Yep. It, it became that I got away from teaching to try to keep discipline. Yep. And I'm going to tell you something. At the, I'll just say this fast forward. At the end of the year, they call all the teachers in and they say, well, we ready to write your contract. I said, don't write my contract. <laughs> I said, I'm done. Because I had, I mean, yeah, I should I'm all be, this back. Yeah. <laughs> I, it was so much stress on yeah. me. But he did straighten the class out. I know. You he know. had to go but, Joe Clark on him. Like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they lean on me. They lean on me. Yeah. I had to go Joe Clark. I had to go and Joe then, Clark. And then yeah. they thought he was teaching them. He thought, they thought he was trying to teach them college English. He said, this is your curriculum. Yeah. This is, this is, this is, it was just really sad because it was more behavioral situation and I became like you said I became a ward nor CO. Yeah, and and for me, that wasn't what I signed up for. And that was high school. And that's so, what high school and this, so and this, this is elementary. elementary school. So it's starting to, yeah, So it's at a whole getting, another level man, now. It's, now teachers man they just like, you know what? That's why they just passing them along to get rid of. Them. Yeah, that's and, and, and that's the whole process. That's why. Yeah. But, but that's hurting the kids them up. too. Yeah, oh most definitely. That's hurting it's them too because they're not getting <clears throat> But it starts at home though. It does. It and, does. And so, just keep it real. It starts right at home. It no, does. No, you and they are, think they're at home. They think that you they supposed to send them to school, and school's supposed to correct all that. Hey man, look, you don't get me started, man. We'll be here all two, three that, hours. Listen here. That. Now, that's listen, the truth. That's yeah, the truth. So, so, yeah, man. But, no, I, I appreciate <laughs> just your candor. I appreciate you being honest because a lot of people don't understand that. And, and, I, and I'm older than you, but when I was raised... We ain't come to school with no behavior issues. Man, if we did, yeah, you see me the next day, you <laughs> yeah. gonna see me sitting up. My mom came exactly. up in the school okay. and fixed things. Okay, yeah. I see. All right, now I have to bring y'all around. Okay, let's get back to bring this. Us around. Right. How bring did us you? Around. So how did how did how did you guys handle when your wife had a disagreement with your three, your first three? So. Did you handle I, it or did y'all? I look at it like this. When it comes to a blended family, mm -hmm. I am the, I guess you could say, the conduit. So mm -hmm. I, I'm the reason why that family is blended. I'm the connect, the common denominator. Okay. Gotcha. So I feel like it's, I feel like it's my job to make sure everybody's good. Okay. On all three of my yes. fronts. Yeah. Right. So, and it's been working out, thank God. You know, so, but obviously my kids have. The, the first, the three mm -hmm. that she came into the picture with, they already had that base mm -hmm. respect mm -hmm. for an adult anyway. Mm -hmm. Right. You know? That's not what only, I'm not, yeah, so, so yes. that's what I'm that's where, about. So that's where, that's where, that's where these kids are missing in the school. Yeah. They have that basic respect yes. for uh, yes. adults. The fundamentals. They're, they're Those not, are fundamentals. Yes, the basic, the basic. They're not being yes. parented. Yeah. So my, my, but that's you know, why they're my raising exes themselves. and I, we still, yeah, we still know that, all right, hey man, you ain't going to be out here disrespecting, you know, exactly. people. So it don't, it, that already came with them. That was So you planted, uh, you batteries batteries included. Included. Seed, awesome. you planted that seed very early. Very early. And Batteries so, included. And so <laughs> I want to say this real quick. Yeah. Do you think, it's, I'm going to ask you this question, Lights Out. Do you think it's very, very important to start early Planting the seeds when they're Most definitely from basically from the womb. Yeah. Well, See, man, I don't, I don't know how you would do it from the womb. No, but I, I, don't, I don't know. What they I'm saying when I say basically from the womb, when they're it's when they come they out. Uh -huh. yeah. They are start being trained now. Yeah. So Why they not? will know. Why not? You don't wait till they get 10, 12, Why not? 15, yeah. 17, because then they're gone. Now, there's subtle ways to do it. You ain't going to just come out all drill sorry on them. No, 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 no. Not at all. Not at all. So, but I feel like anything worth. Have, setting them up for success in the future, you have to start early. Anything. No athlete just comes in and starts playing. Uh, uh, Michael, jo Michael Jordan whatever. didn't start playing right. ball. No. In his, you know, later on in his high school years and no. then become, you know what no. I mean? He started no. early. You have to that's start with anything. And the yeah, fundamentals, yeah, yeah, yeah. though. And that's why I like what you, 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 you talked about the fundamentals exactly. of being a parent. Yep. Mm -hmm. And I think a lot of times society, yeah. society, in my opinion, have robbed parents today, millennials and 
of their capacity to be a parent. Now you don't have a parent. You may have parent handbooks. Yeah. But the reality is, and I and I used to tell our kids, I know y'all y'all tripping on me now. Because when I look at that grandkids, <laughs> I say, you need to tighten up with that hip pocket. Yeah, yeah you, I feel I say, not, I say, I'm not saying every day, <laughs> but you, when man, they I get to the tripping, yeah. then you help them trip. I just yeah. tell my kids, <laughs> these two fingers. The fat part of that thigh, and I say that, you do it with love. You don't know it's anger. Mean, man. I but, know exactly but what you But mean. we have allowed society... Yeah. To go into our homes, they yeah. don't care about our homes, and tell us how to raise our children. I know, I know, man. I, and look. that's why the kids don't respect. Yeah, exactly. And you know, they are starting. They're looking at elementary school now, and and trying to to um, get a cal a calculated count on how many kids going to end up in prison. And they building building all these prisons. They starting at yeah, elementary age. I mean, yeah, a, a civil she rights activist wrote a book, uh, Black the Civil Rights Activist. That's just ridiculous. She wrote the book and she gave out some statistical data of how certain entities are going to the schools because, you know, literacy is, is one of the problems mm -hmm. where people do things. Or they say psychologically, when you're mm -hmm. illiterate, mm -hmm. and you don't have the basic skills, math, reading, whatever the case may be, you're more adapt to go and do something that's illegal or yep. commit a crime. Now, we I'm not saying that's we, always we, the case. We already set up for failure then exactly. in that case because of our history. And because of our history. To, when it comes to But, but the parents, I believe, like what you're doing, Absolutely. I believe this, Lights Out, by what you have done and what you and your wife are doing, yep. it creates an environment that, number one, <clears throat> we know what's right and we know what's wrong. We know, we understand we have to have a work ethic. Yep. And we have to go and go get it the right way. And we have to respect and honor, you know. And then we have to communicate. Because I think now, all of that for a large sector of the African-American community has been siphoned out. And when we come, when you look at somebody my age or my wife's age, and we been we were raising, and I, and I tell people, no, I'm not asking you mm -hmm. to to raise your kids like I was raised, mm -hmm. but take some of those valuable principles, take the good things, and add them to and your add them, yeah. and you yeah. can yeah. modify yeah. it exactly. That's yeah. our whole point. Yeah. That's you why, can modify it. That's why we. That's why when we're dealing with because we also counsel. Mm -hmm. You know, we do. We're counselors, um, and so we have couples we counsel. You know, and we always t listen. You have a different background. Not n listen. Not only just the different backgrounds. Men and women, we don't think alike at all. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> yeah. at all. We yeah. don't. You know, know. we don't That's think alike. Is, so you yeah. know. So you have to get together as adults and have these conversations yep. so that you can sit down with the kids and say, "Okay, listen, his yep. eyes gonna lick." Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Exactly. You know. And, exactly. um, you know, so that, that I'm telling you, we're loving this platform. Yeah. yeah. We're That's loving awesome. it. You know, I mean, if you it's going to help for the right somebody, yeah, too. yeah, you know. Yeah. So let me ask you this. This is our question. I'm going to ask you this question. Okay. Mm -hmm. If you were talking to another male that's in a blended family, and maybe his wife has two kids from a previous relationship, mm -hmm. and he's coming into this blended family for the first time, mm -hmm. as a male, and as he, he may has a child, for example. He may have a child. Mm -hmm. And he said, listen, I want to talk to Lights Out because Lights Out is apparently doing it. Mm -hmm. And he has some great principles and his family is excelling in so many different places. Mm -hmm. What would you tell him if he goes into this family to take some of the principles tell that you have? What would you tell them? Tell so, the audience. so I would tell, first thing I would tell him is you have to, for me, you have to go in with the open mind mm -hmm. and realize that everyone has been uh, taught how to parent in different manners, mm -hmm. like we just talked about. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you go in with an open mind. All right, you have to go in and you have to have your set principles yes. when you go in. You don't try to push so much right away. You have to gradually understand. You got to gradually uh, you build know, a relationship. Build a relationship mm -hmm. with with the fam, with the blended family, and stuff like that, and and, and just. Be 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 consistent, mm -hmm. present, mm -hmm. and at the same time you have to be you have to be stern, but don't be to the point to where it's like 
they don't nobody wants to come and talk to you about anything okay. mm-hmm. when you mm-hmm. first step into a business. Mm-hmm. You got to fill it out first. Everything, so don't come in with the eye. Yeah, first. don't come in and just try to change everything right away. Like you like, a drill sergeant. Yeah, right? exactly. You know, so you have gotcha. to fill it out, and then you have to have you you definitely have to have a a very 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 extensive uh, communication channel to the. Your your spouse, your new yeah. spouse. You gotta, you guys gotta be on the same page and present that blended, that yeah. uh, that 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 Using front, that united front. front. Yeah, yeah, you have to. You have to establish mm-hmm. that first and foremost. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right, because if y'all bickering in front of them, they're gonna side with. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, you know, you they gonna leave you alone. So you yeah, they, and like, cause you're right when you coming into that family and mm-hmm. they they've already have a, a way they doing things. Mm-hmm. Essentially, you're the outsider coming in. You know, mm-hmm. you know, which is so. You just got to be awesome. consistent. And, Thank you, man. And, and, and hopefully, that will help somebody that's yeah. listening to us because yeah. there's a lot of brothers that's in that situation right now. Yeah, they're right in this situation. They're already married and in the blended yeah. family. But you got to you, you got to have your wits about it too. You got to have your mind together too, man. Yeah, you, gotta, you can't just come in there and, and, and just thinking that everything gonna bend your will and I'm gonna do this. <laughs> I'm gonna do. You got to have your way. You got to have your brain together too when you coming in there. You got to be. You got to be leading by example. And you got a man up or whoever it is coming up and and, and set the tone and, and, yeah, and I show like that. action over words all day. Yeah. That's 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 I how like it that, is. Man. So, so. Awesome. The yeah. next question <clears throat> is, you are an army veteran. Yes, sir. So what inspired you to start LLC? I fight for it. I fight for LLC. So uh, and what services do you provide? I was in. The, oh, I was about to say. Let's go. Let's, 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 let's go. Let's go to the army. All right. So, so tell us a little bit about your army tour. I'm not upset with you because so, you joined the army. Because you know, every so, time y'all needed a ride, we so gave you up. So I was army intel. I did 13 years army intelligence. All right. Okay. Uh, top secret clearance, all that good stuff. I'm sure yeah. you know about. Yeah. So yeah, he uh, knows. I worked in a. Um, we worked. I, I was in most of my time was in Hawaii. So okay. I did ten years. Uh, okay. You know, in Hawaii, it, uh, nice. it was great. It was great. <laughs> I, mean, I got three kids. Man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you I know, got you, hey, hey, man, hey, that's a beautiful hey, thing. You know, three blessings. Uh, yes, from exactly. Hawaii, and then I have two more here. But um, uh, my my army career was very great. I, it instilled a lot of. I didn't know what I was going to do before I joined the army. Okay. So. You know, my mom, single mom, raised me. Yeah. You know? mm-hmm, so mm-hmm. you know, I, I was like, you know what, kills a lot of birds with one stone. There, that's right. A roof over my head, job, traveling, get to see things, meet new people. I'm a country boy. I'm from the south, so I don't right. got a problem talking to anybody. Exactly. You know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know? Definitely. But I also. Yeah, I know. Yeah, you ain't gonna let you run over me. Well, well, well listen. That's yeah. right. We already know that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, <laughs> we feel right. you. But uh, right. you know, that's so right. the, but yeah, I was military intelligence, um, working a lot with uh. Some, doing some pretty cool stuff, yeah. you know that we, exactly. you know, we leave yeah. that, you know, you gotta leave that right top there. Top secret yeah. stuff, yeah, yeah, you know, and, and it was great. And uh, I used, I utilized what I learned in the military. Uh, I also, once I got out of the army, I came here and was working as a, a government contractor. Okay, okay. you know, okay. so did you do the same thing? Intelligence, same stuff, okay. same stuff. Uh, awesome, more, more in depth, you know, okay. obviously. Uh, and uh, man, I, I just. To me, that's not what I always want to do. It's a great start, mm-hmm. and it's when I'm glad I got started. I'm blessed for that. I mm-hmm. thank you, you know, thank God for doing what I do. But mm-hmm. that's not something that uh, I dreamed of being. Mm-hmm. Right. I had to utilize mm-hmm. what I had to do. Absolutely. I had to do what I had to do. Absolutely. But it was a bridge, though. Oh, yeah. It was a bridge. Exactly. We all need there, bridges there you go. to go, go to another place. There you go. Mm-hmm. And you know, mm-hmm. I, I once I was working, I did eight years as a contractor, and I was just like, man, you know what? Once I got, I got furloughed. Okay, and, and I know about that. Too. Yeah, yeah, and I was like, man, you know what? I, ain't, I don't like nobody telling me I can't go to work. I'm able bodied man. Right, right, know? right. Yeah, I got to sit at home and wait somebody telling me. So mm-hmm. I started, you know, I started training my son. He was already doing. Uh, his mother had hit me up one day and was like, hey, you know, let's find something for Dante. That's my oldest boy mm-hmm. to do mm-hmm. jujitsu. He was like eight, nine at the time. Mm-hmm. And I was like, cool. She found jujitsu. Mm-hmm. I was taking him there on Saturday, mm-hmm. uh, and I started kickboxing right next to it. So I was like, okay. you know what? I just started. I just yeah. started. My, my brain started turning. I like what I'm doing. I don't mm-hmm. want to work for nobody else. Mm-hmm. So hey, let me you know go this route. Mm-hmm. Long story short, I mm-hmm. uh, started training, fighting, stuff like that. Created my own. Uh, did some little research. Uh, looked at, saw what Floyd was doing. Floyd Mayweather. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. And he got a piece of everything. Uh-huh. He get yeah. paid everything. Yeah. I was like, you yeah. know what, man. Yeah. If you can do, you know, I can yeah. try something like that. You sound that. like Shaq. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shaq got a piece of everything. That's what I'm talking about, and man. Magic Johnson. Yeah, too. man. So uh, I was like, you know what? I'm going to LLC myself, make myself the business. Yeah. You know, I was 32 years of age. Everybody laughed at me. 
Wow. Yeah, when I started. I was 32 yeah. when I started. Never too late. Yeah, now those same people that laughed at yeah. me when I started because Come my on tickets now. me fighting. That's like right. That. Yeah. So, yeah. But, you know, that's that's the... the, yeah. the, the, the that's yeah. awesome, man. Yeah. Um, you know... Yeah. That's how I end up LLCing myself. You, 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 took, awesome. you took the bridge. Mm -hmm. See, a lot of people don't realize that you may be doing something you don't want to do right now or you didn't plan to do, mm -hmm. but I often tell people when they talk to me because they ask me, they said, Doc, you've done a hundred right. different things. Yeah. I say all of those things were a bridge, but you gotta you gotta do something so you can cross the bridge into something else. Exactly. You know, mm -hmm. and don't ever and like I, I, I appreciate you said this that you made this statement. People were laughing or making fun of you because what you did something that they wanted to do, but they didn't have the courage or the heart to do it. That's why people laugh. Exactly. Because you did something that they may have dreamed of doing, or they let somebody cut their dream off. You know. Because of what they didn't believe. Yeah. And the biggest thing about whatever you do, business, ministry, anything, you have to believe. Exactly. And you have to believe beyond what people expectations are. Be because what I realized yep. is that people that not doing anything will always has always has something negative or debilitating to say to you because they won't step across the bridge. That's mm -hmm. true. So what services does I fight for it provide? So I do personal training. <clears throat> uh my main service right now, uh, obviously, as the athlete, I mm -hmm. am the fighter. Mm -hmm. So I, I, you know, I'll fight if I, I was in talks with a local promoters a couple of days ago about mm -hmm. possibly fighting early next year. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Okay. So personal training right now, I work out a gym called Level Up, which is in, out here in Lanham. We just moved out here in Lanham. Matter of fact, we moved from Bowie to uh, Lanham at a we got a temporary location out here. Okay. Um, personal training right now. Um, my fighting. And my, I operate my store with my merchandise and stuff like that. So I'm just using it to, uh, you know, you know if, I, if you need any encouraging, I'm, the, I'm definitely the person you want to you wanna talk to as far as... Uh, we going to stay in touch with you. Yeah. Right? I got some, while you're talking, <laughs> things running through my yeah, mind. Yeah. You know, ministry stuff. Yeah. Hey. You know, yeah, hey. definitely, man. So, yeah. Okay. Okay, yeah. what inspired you to author the book, The Power of Can, Stop Running from Success? And two part question, and how did the song The Train by Outcast confirm that I can do this? So, two parts. so okay, first part, uh, what inspired the book The Power of Can? <clears throat> we, we briefly touched on it in the question before that. Yes. Uh, I'm a very uh, uh, competitive person. Right. Mm -hmm. Competitive with myself. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So I was like, you know what? I'm not going to have nobody tell me I can't go work. Mm hmm. And, and, and you know, so if 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 I'm gonna, put, I, I'd rather put all the eggs in my own hands, my own destiny, in my own hands when it Absolutely. comes to to doing that, than have somebody tell me I can't go work. Absolutely. So if, if I'm a fail, then dang on it, I'm a, I, I can live right. with doing it yes. myself yes. on my own yes. terms. Yes. All right? But I just want folks to know. So that's a short read book. Power can start running for success. If once you uh for for the I wrote it with the daily commuters in mind that ride the train and stuff like that so you can get to it on a train sitting you know? it's just a motivational read to let you know that uh if you just 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 to try to give people courage to jump off that ledge you ain't gonna know if you can fly if you don't jump you know, that, yes. you know there's a lot of sayings out there like that yeah yes. but you know so it's a lot of things in there just to just to let you know you know get that get that camp word out of your vocabulary all right, so that's what inspired that. Now, as far as the song being inspired, inspiring to me, there's a whole lot of songs that's inspired. That was just one at the time. Mm -hmm. Right, just, that, that season. So, yeah, that was just one at the time that yeah. inspired me. Mm -hmm. And uh, anything, uh, I'm inspired by a lot of things that are positive. Yeah. So, but that, that's that's my baby right there. That was my, like a little short autobiography telling them where I come from, uh, you know, and just to show people that. You looking like you looking at somebody that that can, that's done it. You know, you touch, yeah. you can touch, you can touch me. You know, yeah, exactly. like, I, I, you know, I can tell you how I done it. And you mm -hmm. know, so you mm -hmm. just gotta believe, put your your mind and your soul into it. You know, and and I'm not even done yet. And so. you gotta put the work in. Yeah, you gotta put the work. Oh, most definitely, action, <laughs> action over words. And, I'm, not, and I'm, I'm so far from done. It don't make any sense, man. Let me you let know? me tell you something, man. So, I'm sitting up here listening to you, <clears throat> and you have ignited me even more. That's good. You know, um, and I tell you this, um, you know, and, and this is not about the show, but I, I want to say this. My wife and I started this this ministry, this platform to help people to move from just existing to excelling and understand how valuable they life. are yep. as a blended family, as a family, mm -hmm. as a person, as a male, as a woman. 
because the reality is is that you were put on this earth to do something phenomenal. Yep. You wasn't just put here just to, just to let exist. somebody exist. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. You were put here to go through some things. Because I tell people all the time, the difficult times should prepare you for a greater destiny. That's true. You know, That's true. and you have to know what's inside of you. Once you find out what's inside, see, the problem yeah. is... People is that scared. we let we let people keep us finding out what's inside yeah, of us? It's laying dormant. It's scared. It's yeah. just sitting there. Yeah. That, that fear. There. That fear is one of the things that I believe mm -hmm. is one of the main conduits mm -hmm. to trip us up. Yep. Mm -hmm. From walking into tremendous greatness, yeah. mm -hmm. into be scintillating to create environments to other people can gravitate. And like you said, man, what I love what you said lights out. You said you can touch me. Yeah. See, you're the type of person that people need not only hear, but to be around to understand that this stuff, see, just like negative stuff rub off, mm -hmm. so is the positive exactly. and good stuff rubs yep. off. It's tr I, I like to use the word transference. Mm -hmm. If you transfer in the hope and the destiny and I took out that I, I made the tea go away. Yeah, take that tea away. I took that tea. Yeah. Off. First of all, I took, yeah. a, I took a big magic marker. I love that. I and, love that. You said I, that. And, you, and then you know what he said was so powerful. He said earlier he didn't say that. He said the kink word is a curse word. Yeah. And so I'm a pastor. If you say that in my church, we're gonna have a conversation. There you go. Because yeah. we can do all things through Christ with strength. And I just yeah. wanted to throw that out there. But yeah. you know, man, I, I'm I'm excited because I'm feeling you, man. I'm feeling okay. because you know a okay. lot of uh, we, uh, we like put our surrogates. No, <laughs> because, you know, you know why like, I tell people because when I tell yeah. people how old I am, they say, "Man, you should be somewhere in 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 an island." Relax. I said, "You don't understand." Yeah. I said, "I ain't even got my second win yet." Y'all don't even man. know. Man, I said, listen. "What's about to come out of me?" And I tell I tell my audience, I turned sixty. God bless me to turn sixty last month. I turned 41. And you know, and, and I tell people yeah. that not to tell people that I'm old or, or that I'm better than you. I'm telling you that I haven't gotten my second win about exactly. what my wife and, and I want to do. You like you're about to be 41. No, you no, don't. I, did. I just turned 41 on 26. Yeah, you don't. You That's don't, awesome, man. You don't look and so, like you know, like I, 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 you I mean think. In November? Yeah, November. November, yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. That's all right. We in December. Right. It's a four feet. Just, just I know. It's, 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 we got 27 more days left in yeah. the year. Oh, I got to get busy. December, so, yeah. some stuff to do. So, you know, man. Yeah, 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 but, yeah. but no, um, my wife and I, we, we like to hear people understand how valuable it is yep. to continue to push. Yep. And continue and, to reach your dreams. And, and something that's important to me that I like to tell people uh I'm not, you. I feel like people are not put here. You're not put here. I'm put here. To uplift somebody else. Absolutely. Yeah, that's what I think. That's the Absolutely. key. That's what I think. That's All what we long. do. That's what I think. That's, that's what, we, what do. we do. If everybody does that, then the world will be a much better place. Listen, Come on now. the world will be in such a yeah. better place and people will yeah. know how valuable they are. Yeah. You know, and you know what? One thing, I can, I've dealt with it all my life, but I cannot stand jealousy. Oh man! Yeah. Can't. Stand but it comes with the territory. It's, yeah, and it's, and, I know it does. And but something it's, else you, you uh, might want to, uh, you know, I, I know you've been doing this for a long time. No, but if I, somebody I, comes into you, me, if man. somebody comes into your, you gotta let them know that sometimes being being uh, uh, the type of person that all of us are in this mm -hmm, room, mm -hmm. it's a lonely journey, man. Oh, it absolutely. Is. Because there ain't no. many people absolutely. that think like you. So it's yep. been sometimes it's like, man, even even you know, I love my wife's death. She supports me 100 percent on everything I do. Mm -hmm. But sometimes when love I tell her things, love of the life, please. Oh, uh, there, there you go. Yeah, you right, you right, you right, you right, you right, you right. Love of the life. Yeah, love of the yeah, life. Yeah, yeah. And sometimes when I just, when I'm so excited about a new venture that I might have, mm -hmm. like, and then I will tell her. And wait for her, and she would give me like, "Oh, that's tight." And I was like, "Man, you ain't, you ain't excited." <laughs> but see, yes, let me give, let me give you, let me give yeah. you a tip. Yeah, write it down and give it to her, because we are visual learners. Yeah, if you write down what you're feeling and let her see it every day. Yeah, she said, "Man." Yeah. My guy. Yeah, I'm yeah, yeah. That. I'm see, try that. so I'm you try think that. about that, man. If yeah. you write, see, I'm, I'm a person that talk. I'm like you, man. <clears throat> but I've learned to write things down. Write it down. Okay. <laughs> I, wrote, I wrote that down, man, because I had to there write it, it down because right. I'm like you, bro. I yeah. come home yeah. I'm and I'm about to, listen, I'm about to pop. Yeah, she said, I'm "Catch your breath." I said, "I can't catch it right now. I got to get it out." But no, yeah. and she was my but, wife. But said, that's see, good, I'm a honey. detailed person. Yeah. So she said, that's, that's when he don't give me details, I'm like, most, hold most up, hold up. Wait details, wait so we got to give her. That's why. That's why I say write it down. Yeah, that's how rich Because if you write it down and then she can see it, yeah. Because we all are visual learners. Yeah, man. And so, but no, man, that's that's a beautiful thing because 
It is a lonely road. It's a lonely road, man. Man, it I'm telling you something. When I tell it you, is. We, it's lonely. We're witnesses. I know. I know. We're we witnesses, brother. I'm, I know. We, we know. started this ministry two years ago. Lonely. But the we people that I thought, God's glory. We don't yeah. care. But the you know people I mean? that I thought <laughs> we, we gonna that was going to like, okay, man, I understand. Let me let me help you. Let me be with you. Crickets. <laughs> but it's okay though, because what that did, that ignited me. I said, "Okay, you do you." That's how I work. That's I gotta I go. Yep. I gotta go. Man, I but trust me, man. I, I came, I came, and I was like, you know what? It's gonna be a lonely road. You gotta get used to it. Yeah, yeah. it is. Get used to it. And, and I'm okay. My wife Absolutely. will tell you, I'm okay. Absolutely. With being like that, my wife will tell you. But about God me. gonna bless. Yep. Yeah, Stay man. focused. For Keep sure. doing it. Oh, yeah. God gonna bless. And he's gonna elevate too. I'm telling yeah. you, you're oh, gonna yeah. be known around the world. Yeah, good. Okay. That's what I'm talking about. Now, like all right, people. so you have an apparel line. Yes, I do. All right, let's yeah. get into that apparel line. Yeah. So you have Because I like action over words yeah. already. Yeah. 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 I'm about to give me a two X. Over this is yeah. one. Lights yeah, this out. Is, and it's an old one too. This is an old one. I but fight it, for but, uh, it. I love it. I don't know if I gave you guys so, the right. Uh, we got it. Okay, we got, got the site. We got but wait a minute, but you, but still get the site. Okay, because they need to hear it. They need okay. it so they um, can support so, you. I, the one that caught me was, I appreciate your opinion. But we good. But over we here. good over here. Yeah. I ain't buying that shirt. <laughs> Y'all here. <hit. laughs> Doc D is gonna have yeah. that show with me on the yeah. show with yeah. it. Right. What? I all brought the different hoodie. Okay. Okay. That's all right hoodie. though. Show that one too. I have a hoodie that says that. Yeah. I have a hoodie with that one yeah. too. Yeah, yeah. This is the action. I gotta one. get it. Hoodie. Yeah, but yeah. Uh, but show that one. Show yeah. that one. Oh, this is just the this is the back this of it. This is from his apparel line, y'all. Yeah, this is yeah. the one I made for myself. Action over words. And on the front, okay. mogul, something that I aspire to be. Yes. Yeah. So I wear it on me, and I'm doing doing what I can. I'm taking steps to do action over words. I fight for it. That one right there. Really will be want my t-shirt. <laughs> yeah. So they so, gonna see me so, preaching that yeah. on so one that day. So that means that means if you really want it, handle your business. Right? Oh yeah, action over words. That's why the action's on top of the words. It's, oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's what yeah. Like. But, but to, what, all what, this talking ain't gonna get you nothing. You got pussy. Can, can I can I just tap into yes, that for a minute? I, love I that. appreciate your opinion. We'll be good over but we, we good over here. Yeah. yeah. Tell, tell, them, tell them. Tell them what inspired what, what, yeah, what is you so, to get yes. that. Yes. I, so, and, and this is a funny story, actually. Okay. It wasn't even involving me. Really? When you're when you're out and about and you're hearing people talk and you're hearing people, you know, and, and you hear people giving, and I was just I was just looking at the person's face that they were talking to. Yes. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. that's it. That's exactly what it looked like. <laughs> <laughs> the person was saying, "Yeah, mm, well, oh yeah, mm -hmm. yeah." Mm -hmm. All right. Well, I'm gonna go. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. So I was like, you know what? I just tickled myself, and on my way home, I was driving, and I thought about it. Uh, I come. A lot of these sayings come to me, and I'm like, I can relate to that because everybody has an opinion. Yes. Everybody has uh, how you should do something when they haven't done it themselves. Zero or have you know zero action. Or, so or they yeah. tried something. Didn't work for them, yeah. so now they want to deter you. There you go. Well, I tried that; it's not going to work. There you go. No, uh, shoot you it down. It might not have worked in yeah. your season, and yeah. it might not work. You know, but you got to do what God tells yep. you to do. So you say, you know what? I appreciate your opinion, mm -hmm. but we good over here. I'm and on the inside of that shirt, on the inside of that shirt, it's a, it's a no, two more words: small, circle. small circle. Yeah, small I circle. saw it. <laughs> keep the circle small. Yeah, you know, I like that. Yeah, you know, people, uh, only and I believe that. Small. Yeah, keep yeah, the circle small of people that are yeah. like minded, like yourself. And, and I believe and you will that. go far, and then you can reach the masses and do what you yeah, need to do. I, I, yeah, I truly believe that. Yeah. Love that. Um, it, it's, it's powerful. We definitely got to get. We got to get. We got to get. I'm already got to get. We got to get. But my, uh, I have a, uh, I have a link tree under all my social media accounts. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then you can go to the site. All those sites, my shoes, okay. my we shirts, go, everything. We gonna get to all that. Gotcha. That's, that's the that's the last one. Okay. okay. So, <clears throat> so go ahead. What inspired you to become a personal trainer? First part. Second part. What inspired your motto? Action over words. Action over words. So the personal training, the first part, uh, is one of those bridges we were talking about. I didn't okay. even mean to. I didn't mean to do it. Uh, all I know is, as a boxer, you do a lot of training. Absolutely. Right. You do a whole lot of training. Absolutely. You do a lot of running. Yep. Do a lot of, you know, weight. <laughs> something. Well, everything. Some people Absolutely. do. You do everything. Absolutely. You know what I mean? Absolutely. So uh, in doing so, not only was I a trainer. Uh, if you back up to my military days, mm -hmm. five years of my military, I was a, you know the, the APFT. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, I got Italian. Yeah, yeah. You know okay. What I'm so mm -hmm. I just carried those into you right. know some mm -hmm. things. See that now, bridge? It's, yeah, it's that there you bridge. Go. Yeah. Yeah. So I pulled from the knowledge of exactly. going, uh, being a uh, training NCO, uh, right. my battalion, mm -hmm. and uh, my brigade actually. Right. And then uh, uh, as I became a professional athlete, see what I I, I did. 
I did the whole professional athlete part just to become the the mogul, just to put the merch out there because mm-hmm. I want to exactly. be on the biggest so mm-hmm. I can reach people. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> so. Once in doing so, in doing that, obviously, uh, folks come out and they see you training and mm-hmm. stuff. Hey, can you train me? Hey, can you do this? Mm-hmm. Hey, can you do mm-hmm. that? And mm-hmm. at the time, you know, the money mm-hmm. and being that I'm not making because I had, I left a six figure job. Yeah, right exactly, now, exactly, you know, exactly. Six figures, right? No, now. right, right. We, we understand. <laughs> yeah, we understand. so I left that, mm-hmm. you know, and that's why everybody was like, well, "You crazy? You, ha ha! You stupid? You leaving that job?" Because mm-hmm. I, I wasn't happy doing that. Mm-hmm. Right. Money and everything. Mm-hmm. No, it's not. So, mm-hmm. so, uh, mm-hmm. but what's that saying? What's that saying? If you go to a job that you love, it's not work. It's not work. It's not work. That's right. It's, yep. So I, uh, after, you know, just over time, mm-hmm. people coming into the gym, mm-hmm. wanting to get trained. They see you how in shape you are. Mm-hmm. I tell them the story. Mm-hmm. Oh, I started at thirty two. They're like, man, I'm too old for them. No, you're not. I'm forty now. Mm-hmm. And they look at me like, really? You know, I'm like, yeah. Well, I got the kids. I'm like, I got five kids. Mm-hmm. And really? Yeah. Well, I got a house note. I said, I got a house note. Mm-hmm. I said, everything you saying, I got all that. Exactly. I, I just I so raised all, exactly. all that. Exactly. And, 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 and either it's going to do, it's gonna do one, of, it's going to do one or two things. Either they're going to get motivated to do mm-hmm. it, or they're going to be like, dang. Mm-hmm. And just leave and never come back because mm-hmm. they want to run away from it, mm-hmm. you know. So, but that was the approach I took, and, and you know, I started picking up clientele, and, and results speak for themselves, and then right. word of mouth, and mm-hmm. then you know. Exactly. So Absolutely. that's how the personal training came, and, and uh, to the second part. Second part was the action over words. Mm-hmm. I'm not a big. Uh, I'll say some things, but at the end of the day, it don't matter what you say is what you do. Come on now. You know what I'm saying. It don't matter what you say is what you do. You so. need to get that sermon ready. <laughs> <laughs> so, 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 so you know, you can say all kind of stuff. You yes. know, you know yes. but yes. but but you know, those are empty those are empty. Yeah, and we say more than what we ever do. Yeah. We really yeah. do. And, so, and and a lot of that comes in the way yep. of we are afraid. Just you know, and we don't want to yeah. change. Uh-huh. I think that you cause people to change if they connect with you and you bring such a positive vibe. So I can imagine, even though you work in people out hard, they like to be around you oh, because that's definitely. light. <laughs> yeah. See, see, I've been told I have letters. Uh, yeah. Some of the, some of the, I have single parents. Some of the clients here, yeah, they bring their kids in. Yeah. And, man, they, I, mean, I ain't working with nobody else but you. I'm like, I don't be like that. But you know, I understand. But, it's, but see, yeah. people yeah. is. And yeah. I, I got if you gonna work hard, kids, if you gonna work hard, yeah. absolutely. And you gonna work somebody, you gonna invest. In a personal training, and not only yeah. that, and you, you got to have a good time. That person got to have some light. It can't be drill sergeant yeah, all, the time. all the time. Well, yeah. not only that, you never know what path that child was going down. True. Yeah, that's you true. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You stopped them from going down that path, so that's why them parents are like, uh, uh-uh, uh, yeah, they yeah, ain't coming yeah, to you. Yeah. I, you know, yeah. so don't, you know. I know. I yeah. don't. Oh, trust me, I don't turn them away. I, I you know, I love, I love kids, you yeah. know, naturally. So. Yes. Bring them to me, you know. That's right. <laughs> Bring them on That's in. right. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> straighten them up. Yeah. Some of them, yeah. need, you know, need they that, do. Need they that, need that. Need so, that. have you yeah. ever exactly. gone to have you approached schools? Uh, I have not. I, I actually, I'm just let me back up a little bit. The former school that I was mentioning earlier, mm-hmm. I had talked to some of the staff there because they knew me by name because mm-hmm. I was always in there mm-hmm. looking at these bad brown kids. Mm-hmm. Sit <laughs> 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 you know, exactly. tripping them as they run, quick, run. <laughs> I'm like, y'all need to straighten up in here, you know. So I, I have approached schools, but you know, it, I, I'll wait. I ain't gonna force that bridge, right? You know, if it exactly. comes, it'll you. come it, it to will, me. It will come, come to me, yeah. definitely. I got so, you. But uh, yeah, so that's that's the answer to that two part question. But that's where action over words came in. Words don't mean nothing, pretty much, man. They're just empty. They're just that if you don't put any any effort behind them, they mean nothing. So tell everyone how your faith played a part in your success. Man, listen, like I told y'all earlier, <laughs> I'm from North Carolina. I was in church two, three times a week. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. now uh, there is a higher power. I don't understand. I mean, people believe in whoever you want to believe, mm-hmm. and that's fine. I mm-hmm. get that. Mm-hmm. But uh, I'm very. I do realize that we we get power. We, you you can't be on this earth thinking that you just here. Right to me in right. the way I think. Right. right, there is a higher power. Absolutely, you know. Yeah. So and you have a higher purpose. So my faith, uh, Christian yeah. background. Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. So I, I just I have a relationship with him. I don't mm-hmm. might not go to church every Sunday, mm-hmm. or might go to church two Sundays out of the month. Mm-hmm. Or might not go no Sundays out of the mm-hmm. month. But mm-hmm. you can best believe I'm Absolutely. always talking to the Creator. Absolutely, and, and thanking Him for mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. His blessings and mm-hmm. and giving me the strength to continue to go forth and bless other people mm-hmm. you know so mm-hmm. I read this in your bio and, yeah. and and somebody just slipped me a note but I want to ask you about your bullying solutions because w- you and I both know yep 
um, that bullying is an everyday thing that yes, kids it face sure is. in the sure schools. Is. Yep. You know, and even the teachers are being bullied. Yep. By other teachers. Yep. So kind of, kind of drop on that for a minute. So, the, now, now I can't. Let me let me put this disclaimer out here. Mm-hmm. I ain't been to no medical school. I ain't been to no mm-hmm. you know nothing mm-hmm. like that. Mm-hmm. But life, mm-hmm. right. this is my Absolutely. opinion. Life, you know? but sometimes life is a better. Teacher. Exactly. Mm-hmm. All right. To me, mm-hmm. looking at some of these kids, uh, the first step to stopping yourself from being bullied is to be strong minded and confident in yourself. Absolutely. Yes. Right. Absolutely. Bullies pick on weak. They tend to pick on Absolutely. Weak. They tend to scour and see, okay, that person is weak, you know, Absolutely. a nerdy one, the exactly. weak yes. one or whatever, you know. What is always blah. by themselves. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Something like that. Mm-hmm. But now you can be by yourself, but mm-hmm. if you walk with a certain confidence oh, absolutely. Right, and you and you and you feel yourself and exactly. you, you know, and you don't have a problem speaking loud exactly. and, and yeah. looking shaking, you in your eyes yeah, and shaking, shaking your hand. Shaking the hand the right way as a kid. I don't think you I think that's the first that would deter Oh I feel God. like that no. would deter right absolutely. There. Yeah. 80 to 90 percent of bullying. Absolutely. You know? Absolutely. And then, of course, after that, if you get past that, then you can come right into the box and you can right. go put the hands on them. But, exactly. but I think the first step uh, is making sure your child uh, has a strong mental mind frame. Yes. All right? And that involves parenting. Yes, it you does. You know, so it all yes, goes back to the parenting, you know. Yes, and I know some does. some ladies might be, you know, it might be some single moms and single dads out there, mm-hmm. you know. Mm-hmm. But uh, from what I can see, it's a lot of uh, single moms whose child, whose mm-hmm. son or daughter mm-hmm. or whatever has succumbed to the bullying. Mm-hmm. And I don't know if they don't know how to instill that confidence into them. But you got to walk with a certain, you know. But some of them yeah. don't even know their kids are going through that. Maybe not. My yeah. whole thing is when your child comes home and their behavior mm. all of a sudden shifts, something happens. Yeah, true. To make it shift. Yeah. You can't ignore that. You can't, yeah. you know, just let them go in yeah. their room and be alone and all that. Yeah. No, you have to find out yeah. what's going on. Yeah. <laughs> you know, they and can't go from an A student to a D student and you're not. But, but to add on to what you're saying, too, <clears throat> because bully is also cyber, it's technology now. Yeah. Computer, mm-hmm. Facebook. Whatever social media. Got, I feel like if you got that self confidence, right, 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 you can handle that's, that. That's, that's gonna. No, I think. I think. Yeah, I, 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 think I think. I think you hit it on the head. Yeah. Like I was, you, 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 you like told the dude, listen, dude. Yeah, man. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not I, listen, I, I put my pants on one leg at a time, like yeah, you. bro. Yeah, look, look, man. I know my. You know, I've listen. Listen. If you just, I feel like if you just believe in in yourself and be a little bit, just not even a little bit, man. It's. I can't stress enough, so I keep getting tongue tied. Confidence in yourself yeah. can deter so much of that bullying and stuff, yo. Confidence. Let me tell you something. I, a young mm-hmm. lady, came and confided in me, and she talked to me, and she told me she was being bullied, and she told me what was being said, and I said, "Okay, is that true about you?" She said, "No." I said, "Why are you worried about that?" I said, "You." She was dummying down. She was a straight A student. Mm-hmm. Went to the school, was dummying down. So to she could fit, fit in. in. So the peer pressure. Because they was teasing her. Because she, I said, listen. I said, but when you got your degree, when you got yeah, your own man. business, when yeah. you doing, you know what I mean? I said, where they going to be at? Don't sell yourself short. That's what short. I told her. Your, yeah. Excuse me. Don't sell yourself short just to make somebody that don't matter happy. Exactly. Man, right? See, but they got to know I that. I said, though. they don't. They got to know that and it comes I from said, home. I yes. said, most you got to talk to them every day because it's coming from home. I told her most of their behavior is because. You get it like that. They not get it. Exactly. And then, you know, because most kids that, that are distracted in class, they don't know the word. Exactly. Yep. We got one more question, man. What's up? Please tell everyone how you may be reached by the way of social media. Yeah. All my how social- can they pull you in? How can, what can- <laughs> All my social media channels. All right. The at sign, I-F-F-I believe. I-F-F-I believe. So it's if I believe with two F's. So just put the ass on that. That's that's all of them. And then you can, you know, if you want to, uh, Facebook is Luther uh, Lights Out Smith. Okay. You know, on Facebook, but all the social media channels are right there. And I do a lot. Most of my posting comes from Instagram. Yeah. And you can get it right there on Instagram. And 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 uh, in my within my bios, you'll find my links to my stores and my merchandise, my book, my shoes, everything else. Uh, your I should have. I, I wish I would have brought you a shirt if I didn't know you. Wanted <laughs> all that all that's in the bio links uh, but yeah if i believe two f's at i f f i 
believe. All one word. You good to go. Well, you know, man, <clears throat> nice out. This has been an epic yes. segment and with look, you, man. Look, and I have to apologize. I, got, I didn't even read the bio. I said, good God. Oh, my. love. Well, y'all were sitting here talking, and I was sitting here like, I was like, I said, oh, he Lord. He gave us a visual bio. I was supposed bio. to read yeah, it before. Go. I was supposed to read it before yeah, you were. the good. commercial break. Right. Listen, it's all good. But, you know, he has such a co- a charismatic attitude about helping people. Yes. And I think that's really was so powerful today, your charismatic attitude about yeah. helping people understand how valuable they are. Yeah. And we talk about that in our church. And let me say this real quick. Uh, I am a senior pastor and founder of the Family Worship Center, a place where families can imagine. Coming January the 18th, 2020, we are having a revision worship service. And this service is not to, to really get you to join our church. We'd like for you to join if you feel led to. But this is to introduce our church and our ministry to the Southern Maryland community. When? January the 18th, 2020. We are going to have a blast. Um, the wonderful, the dynamic Dr. Antoine J. Hutchins Sr. will be our guest pastor and preacher for that morning, starting at 11 a.m. Listen, check our Facebook page out. Check our um, website out, www.familyworshipcenterimagine.org. Come and, and check us out. And lights out. Luther, lights out. Smith, we want to thank you so much for coming on the show. You guys we have a appreciate blast. It. So we I. will be having you back. Man, we <laughs> have you back. All right, I'll be back. We, I'll be back. We, uh, I'll be back. We, we, we normally uh, tell people because <coughs> our goal is to bring a platform and a show to people to let them know how valuable they are. And today, you did just that. Well, you gave us so much, man, so many valuable so tools. So, everybody, at IFF, I believe, on Facebook, Lights, Luther Lights Out Smith, get the book, yep. get the T-shirts. Get the hoodies. Support shoes. this man. Shoes. He got shoes, shoes. everything. everything. Yeah. Listen, shoes. check him out. You can find him if you want to. And, uh, yeah. And he has, he has, he has saying, all kinds of sayings on his shirts, but yeah. uh, we just focused on the ones that impacted us the most. You know? yeah, we, we so, are grateful. Please support, you know, reach out to him, support, have him on your platform. Oh, especially, especially with the young people. Have him on your platform. Even you men, have him on your platform. Yeah, bring Get him in. Don't get those brothers excited about who they are or who yeah. they're supposed to be. Yes. Thank you. We're going right. to close real quick with a word of prayer for, <clears throat> for, for they cut us off. Father, we thank you so much for Luther Light out, Lights Out. We thank you for this segment, God. Yes. We ask you to bless this brother tremendously. Yes, bless Lord. his endeavors. Yes. Take him to the next level mm-hmm. as he level up to touch people's yes. lives, their children, the parents, and the community. Mm-hmm. We thank you for this opportunity. In the precious name of your son, Jesus, amen. 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 We, we, are, we are really excited, man. We yeah. know that we're going to be watching you, man. I, I'm following you now. Well, it's that time. Time to end the show. But we've had an absolute blast. Please come back and check us out on next Wednesday from 1.30 to 2.30 to where we will share some more insights on how the blended family can rise. Thank you so much for tuning in. God bless you. Peace be upon you.